All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with the Piscean Collective during this retrograde that is quickly approaching. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. What is going on with the Piscean Collective during this upcoming retrograde? Uh, I believe we are in the pre-shadow phase already. So you got let go. Uh, make room for the new beginning. It is on your on its way to you now. So Pisces, what do you need to let go of? It could be a person, place, or thing. Um, Spirit is telling you to let go. It's time to make way for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. Make room. Okay, some of you guys also may be decluttering your home. Or maybe you need to. You're rid of correspondence and objects that are no longer serving you. Okay, you got caution here. Uh, this could have to do with someone's heart health. Okay. I don't know who that's for, but um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you guys medical advice. Obviously, go seek a medical professional if you feel that that may resonate with you. You got find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Hmm. Interesting. Move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of time. It is over. You also got distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So whoever this person is that's supposed to be coming into your life, Pisces, especially if you guys are single or you're in the process of letting go of some something or you're needing to move on from a situation, so I was telling you, go ahead and let go of this, okay? There's a new door that's opening for you. It's time to walk through it and move on, okay? Someone here is wasting your time. They're not available, whether it's physically, emotionally. Um, the person that maybe you're, you know, that is on its way to you, with those pins and then the, you know, the little road looking thing. Wherever you're being guided or led or whoever's being guided or led towards you, uh, you guys may be physically or emotionally distant at this time. Okay. Pets, getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So some of you guys, if you have pets, you may need to pay more attention to them. Show them some extra TLC, some love, some tender love and care. All right. All right, let's see what's going on when it comes to your finances during retrograde. What can Pisces expect? What do they need to know? What do, what do they need to be aware of? Sorry, I have a bar that's like messed up back there. Making me talk funny because it hurts. But all right, what can Pisces expect in career finance during this Mercury retrograde, please, Holy Spirit? You got the four leaf clover. Good luck. Your fortune is improving and you will get a lucky break soon. Collect nuggets of wisdom. You will need them in the near future. So don't forget the lessons and the things that you have learned, Pisces. Um, there is a lucky break that's coming to you. You got outside forces. Unknown, unknown figures are driving the situation. You may not be able to control the outcome. This cycle will soon shift and you'll be all right. <laughs> Something may be happening around the full moon, the next full moon. Okay, you got new life. Ding! I like it. New life. Okay, you may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to your old job. You may also get a tempting job offer or a new place. So something new is on the horizon for you, Pisces. I feel like outside forces are driving this situation. Um, if there's a situation like you feel like you're, you know, you don't have control over it, let it, let it go, let it flow. Okay. You're going to be all right. Sometimes, you know, change can be a little bit uncomfortable, but sometimes it's just what we needed. All right, you got reflection. Take time to revisit the past and figure out what you want to do. Knowing what you don't like will show you what you truly love. Okay, so some of you guys, if you are, Mercury tends to, tends to do that. Sometimes you may be feeling things. You may be feeling nostalgic. You may be thinking about the past, memories from the past. So and just like it, it affects, you know, when we talk about exes coming back or communication and stuff like that, 
it could also affect you in a certain way. Sometimes you're just meant to reflect on these things to understand, okay, I know I don't want this. I don't want to revisit this again. Sometimes old flames or old things come back into our life during a retrograde. So, you know, as a reminder of what it is that you don't want, um, and that could be beneficial for you. So you, all, you guys also have spiritual work. Doing some inner work can help you get clear before moving on. You will get insights into what will work best to serve your needs. So going back to that reflection card, don't make any like decisions. Don't sign any contracts. Don't, if, I mean, if you can avoid doing it during a retrograde, you know, that's, that is what is suggested. Uh, wait till the energy passes. Uh, whether it's a person, place, or thing that's coming back up, okay? Give give that energy time to pass because once Mercury goes direct, a lot of times either contracts get undone or things unfold or come up, come apart or whatever was solidified gets undone, okay? So uh, sometimes it's just meant for you to reflect on these things and not necessarily take action and, you know, commit yourself to whatever is being brought back up okay all right let's get one more for pisces please what else can pisces expect so there could be some fast changes or things could be changing quite rapidly around you within you um but i feel like you you're gonna have the wisdom that you need to carry yourself through okay you got star power. Yeah, you are engaging. You need engaging work that will let your talent shine. You are a natural actor and influencer and you tracked fame and fortune. So some of you guys are meant to be some type of an influencer. Now, whether this is writing a book, I've heard monologue. <laughs> monologue. I don't even know what a monologue is. I know that Taylor Swift sings a song or not really sings a song, but she did a thing. This is my monologue. I don't know. Your diary, maybe? Monologue. Something. Okay. Um, yeah, you may be some type of an influencer or, you know, have some type of star power that can benefit others. You attract fame and fortune. This could also bring in some type of recognition or uh, financial fi finances. All right. So let's see. Let's get a few cards from, what is this, the Rebel deck. So these messages are a little bit funny. Take them as they resonate. What else does Pisces need to know during this Mercury retrograde? What does Pisces need to know during this retrograde? You got believe what you see, face reality, or live in effing a la land. Choose bravely. So, Pisces, believe what you see, okay? Uh, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just effing stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So some of you guys literally let go, move on, was your, you know, the first two cards out here. So some of you guys do need to like, just kind of like stop checking on someone, stop maybe scrolling or, or, you know. I don't think that whoever I'm talking to, I don't necessarily think this is like stalking. I feel like some of you guys may just be curious about somebody, a friend, a colleague, a, a ex-lover, a lover, I don't know, someone that you know. And I feel like you kind of like, keep up or kind of not necessarily keep up with them but I feel like you still kind of look from time to time even though you know that it's not even worth your time work you know that it ain't worth it okay so you got the lightning bolt fast changes figure shit out on your own so there may be some things that you need to figure out on your own okay something could be happening suddenly something may also come as a shock to you some of you guys need to detox now this could be like detoxing social media this could be stop spending so much time on the damn internet. Stop spending so much time online. Maybe some of you guys need to eat cleaner, drink cleaner, um, and detox your home, uh, declutter. Did I say that in this reading? I don't know if I did, but who knows? 
So detox. Some of you guys need to detox some things. Drink a smoothie. Unfriend that asshole and throw some ish out. Literally, that was all the stuff I said and I didn't even read that. That's crazy. Yeah, some of you guys need to like throw some old shit out. Okay, get rid of some things. Donate. Sell. Whatever you've been doing. I know I've been on one of those binges. I've been like, I discovered Facebook Marketplace and I've been like, just shit that I have <laughs> that I haven't touched in like forever. I've been on this like kick of selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace and I'm having fun with it. So um, that could be something. Um, yeah, some of you guys need to, you know, maybe do some type of a detox or a cleanse. And again, I'm not a doctor. I'll obviously consult your doctor before doing anything. Um, ask an effing expert. Okay, don't rely on your friends or listen to the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Maybe some of you guys too are spending too much time online. Um, or getting ideas or doing stuff that, I don't know. I know sometimes my daughter will be coming to me and being like, oh, I've seen it on TikTok, so it must be true. And I'm like, no, you can't believe everything you see on those things, you know? But just clearing that stuff out of your mind and finding something else to do, going for a walk or watching a movie, you know, or getting some more quality rest or, you know, getting some more exercise or creating a healthier schedule for yourself. All right, you got, don't believe every shitty thought that you have thoughts can be sneaking lying bastards all right so be be aware of any type of negative negative thoughts that you may be having don't let those things like swirl around in your brain like a tornado okay all right what do i want to use mm. Let's just get three cards from here, from the Energy Oracle. What else can Pisces expect during this retrograde? What else can Pisces expect, look forward to, be aware of during this retrograde? Some of you, too, may need to, like, get around more animals. Like, if you don't have animals, maybe, I don't know, get around animals, maybe go to a zoo or... A farm or something so you got the angel of strength coming out that came out in the reverse and door to spirit i might need to read that one hmm. okay one more please those can pisces thank you you got woman holding a coin action on the bottom of the deck so number 50 in reverse pisces um this card reversed, I'm going to hold it in the upright for you guys. This card reversed indicates that you are not perceiving the truth of your own power. Perhaps you, you're even seeing yourself as weak or ineffectual. The situation you find yourself in may seem overwhelming, but you, are, you absolutely do have the strength to see it through to a successful outcome. Don't fall into any old patterns or of giving your power away. When you let others define you, or make decisions on your behalf, you take yourself out of the picture of your own des destiny creation. Meditate on the brilliant vibrating light of this angel and recall your internal power that surges through your life. It is time to take back control. Affirmation for this card is deep, deep within me is an abiding strength that knows no bounds. I have all the power I need to achieve all that I want. Okay, so affirm that. All right, and then you got number 32, door to spirit. All right, the door opens into the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. The door opens into a truly unlimited potential for the changes that are happening here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds your increasing powers in the spiritual arts and deepening connection into the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence or more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up into the unexpected guidance and the inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. So some of you guys could be um, 
going through a period of time where you maybe being extra hard on yourself or maybe even feeling like lack of confidence um feeling like you can't obtain something something in your life may seem a little bit overwhelming but i feel like you can you need to push through that let go of any old power <laughs> old patterns that are you know taking taking your power away because i feel like you're you're going through some type of transition and the transition i feel like is going to be some something leading you to success um stability security you got the woman holding a coin female connection and money health and value the elegantly dressed woman in this card sits in a beautiful chair holding a bright golden coin when the card comes upright in a woman's reading it may refer to her directly and to the success and to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health this card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues she may give financial advice or connect you with someone who does this woman may be someone you meet where you make your money or it may be a woman of wealth and value either way this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even the possibility of a new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth or business okay so some of you guys could be meeting somebody this could be you um, but i feel like spirit is guiding you either towards this person or guiding you into this energy um, yeah i strongly feel like there's things that you need to kind of shed that you need to let go of in order for some some type of a transition here pisces you have some type of new life and i do feel like there's some things that maybe you need to reflect on um, maybe even lean on your own spiritual strength, call upon your guides, call upon this angel, call upon the angel of strength because it's in the reverse. Okay. So let's get some tea cards. I haven't done these in a while. Let's see what is going on with the Piscean collective. You're in retrograde, please. Mercury, Mercury in retrograde. What's going on? What is the T from Pisces for this retrograde? Five cards. Five cards. So you may have someone here fishing for comments. Oh, shit. You got creep in. So someone could be lurking online or looking for... Uh, this fishing with comments, too, always kind of gives me like a con like kind of a conceited type of energy. Is that the right word? Conceited? Like, or someone who's trying to get attention. Um... I don't know. Yeah, maybe in a negative way. You got screenshots, getting evidence, proof, and facts. You got child neglect, bad parenting, scared of, hates parent, etc., et and creativity muncher. So someone could most definitely be like, yeah, someone's light may irritate someone else's demons here. Why is child neglect here? Um... Why is child neglect here for Pisces? Why is child neglect here for Pisces? Strong Virgo energy here. Aries is here. What's the full card? Is the hermit here? Ugh. 
Why is the Three of Pentacles here? <laughs> Give me one on this King of Swords. One more. Well, what's the six of swords? I think that this is like Yeah, I think that there's someone here who well, uh, let me clarify this one. Let me clarify, King of Wands. So someone here is angry that they're getting like rejected, that the cycle's coming to a close. Some type of a choice is weighing heavy on somebody here. And I feel like someone's trying to like, you got the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, and then there's a Queen of Wands over here, which I'm gonna check in just a second. But I do feel like there's like an ending to a marriage or a home or a family dynamic or no reconciliation or something like that and someone's pissed off they're angry they're angry because of some type of rejection um show me the queen of wands okay i kind of feel like these are the same energies but queen of pentacles whoever this per okay Oh, for some of you guys, someone's like going back to like a past connection or a baby's father or a baby's mother and having a new beginning. And there's another person here who's pissed off and angry because of some type of rejection because someone here is like withholding passion or desire and going towards a new opportunity. I mean, I don't know if it's a new opportunity, but this looks like parental figures. Yeah, and someone's like happy. I feel like someone's pissed off and angry because they're getting like sidelined or rejected for like a baby's mom or a baby's father. Like two parental figures I feel like are coming back together and somebody could be like saying shit, but it's false because they're getting rejected. Yeah, they're doing something malicious, like they're trying to sabotage whatever this commitment or this marriage or this shit is. Anywho, so that's petty as fuck. All right. But from what it looks like, the actual parental figures is. I mean, unless this is an ex because you had Well, OK, an ex. I mean, unless that is like the father figure and OK, unless there's. This would be like a mat. There's a masculine energy. Again, it does not have to be a man, but there's a masculine energy who's like infringing. And I don't know if this woman, the woman seems to be a good parent, a good mother, someone who's very generous, giving, compassionate, loves her children. And someone here is like, Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's someone here is like, so whether or not someone's trying to move on with a divine masculine, someone who is a good father, you know, someone's saying some stupid shit, like lies, you know, doing something, trying to sabotage a connection. I don't know if it's probably the feminine's ex, okay? Whether it's the father of the children or it's just an ex. I don't, I can't really tell. It could go both ways, really. 
So I feel like someone's just talking out of the side of their neck, but um, show me creeping, please. Show me creeping. Yo, lot irritates their demons. All right, why is creeping here? Who's creeping? And watching and lurking. Someone's watching someone be blessed, have a new beginning, and they're feeling oppressed and sad and ugh, because something here, there's some type of like a sobriety check. Someone's seeing something, like having some type of sobriety check. Set on the reverse. Someone's like not happy. Because someone has new love. King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that could lead to some type of marriage or a family or a commitment here. Who's the son in the reverse? Who that? Who that? Thought you knew that. Knew that. Temperance and the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Damn. Could be a Sagittarius. Someone's not happy though. Why is Temperance here? Someone here feels like they're not getting their f wishes fulfilled. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, someone's holding back from someone and start physically starting something new. Someone's withdrawing, for, withdrawing from someone and they're at peace with this decision. And I feel like that's bringing a lot of unhappiness to someone else. Show me the Ace of Cups, please. So now they're creeping and lurking and watching and doing whatever judgment for some of you guys this could be a reconciliation this could be so that could be what i just literally talked about spirit this creeping person could be the same person that's angry talking shit okay because because of something someone may be going back to someone and reconciling well it is mercury retrograde y'all so y'all be careful with that shit i'm just saying all right why is screenshots here getting evidence proof facts why the screenshots here please the knight of swords in the reverse temperance in the reverse oh my lanta that literally just came out the two of pentacles the four of pentacles it's like someone here is pissed pissed off and angry. Like maybe even telling lies. Like someone here is not like tempered. They're not balanced. This could be someone who overindulges in some type of way or they're forceful. Okay. They don't have any patience. It's like this person could be a little bit dangerous almost with temperance in the reverse, knight of swords in the reverse. Screenshots, evidence, proof. Like about what? Judgment. Nine of Swords, someone's stressed out because of some type of forgiveness or reconciliation or someone getting a second chance. Because someone here is withdrawing and it's causing some type of a tower. Or someone doesn't, what's the tower? Scorpio Energy, Three Swords. Yeah, someone's hurt. Someone broken hearted. Someone feels haunted as well, like in their thoughts. Why? Because of whoever this King of Pentacles. <laughs> Whoa! King and Queen of Pentacles because of two successful people coming together into union for a commitment. Oh shit, someone's, someone's feeling haunted, broken hearted. Scorpio energy, strong Scorpio, judgment tower, Virgos here. Uh, Sag keeps showing up as well. Possibly Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody here could have been juggling and maybe has pulled back their energy or someone here, um, like someone here could have been, yeah, someone here could have been juggling. Someone here missed an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Oh, 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 because someone here, I feel like pulled back their energy like or started holding back. So if someone was juggling, yeah, Scorpio energy again, y'all, strong Scorpio energy death card in, in four cups some type of rejection or a missed opportunity some you know there's an ending here there's an ending here someone here is pulling back from i feel like one person 
This could have been a third party situation for some. Okay, but someone's blocking the third party. Someone's blocking the third party, y'all. And choosing to like come into like a connection, a very grounded, centered connection. Someone's pissed off, feeling haunted, fucking feeling like they're having a tower moment. And they're creeping and watching, watching someone reconcile. Someone, someone in this situation could be even neglecting their children. Okay. Someone could be scared of their own parent or I don't know. Or maybe this person, maybe this person that's doing all this is, is a neglectful parent because whoever the emperor and the empress was that showed up when I clarified that they're, they're not bad parents, but there is someone who's like, could be very like verbally abusive with that knight of swords in the river. Someone could like yell at their, yeah, you see this child plugging their ears. Oh, in the mouth. Like someone here may be literally verbally abusive towards their children. I'm glad that someone's dropping that fucking shit. I'm just saying. This could be someone who's like in their shadow energy and like your light may attract this person in some type of way, but it also, I think it's repelling whatever this connection is. And the reason I say that is because you see the cross. And if you think about it, like, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but like <laughs> fucking exorcism or something, and you know, they hold the cross up. I don't know. I don't know. It's like repelling something or. Yeah, someone's got love on the brain. Their head is in the clouds, but I feel like the situation's played out and someone here is reflecting. Someone may have even caught a case. Someone here could have like karmic friends. Someone could be trying to like could be entertaining people that look like or want to impersonate somebody or something to that na nature. All right, so I'm gonna leave this reading here, Pisces. If this helped, let me know. Um, if you got a message out of here, great. Let me know how it resonates with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.